one of the things I, that I struggle with as a user, a consumer, is you know when I go to a website and I click on a Rob, what you doing? Uh, just like, like laser right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the same logo and font color. Right. What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We just wanted to do a silly set to say, okay, how do you feel? Do you feel like this sometimes on your website when you sit there and you go to your third party vendor and say, hey, we need this application, but we need it to look like our website. And we want it to, you know, and they say, oh, no problem. I'll give you, give us your logo and your font color, and we will make a web page that looks just like yours. The problem is it doesn't. It doesn't look just like you. And the, all the problem is, a lot of times it takes you away from the web page. And it goes to a completely different URL, and your members are confused. So we're like, oh, do I really go here? Is this okay? And so what we want to talk about today is some exciting products uh, that we're going to share with you that change the game with regards to customizing the web page and all of your applications. Rob Mills is from Rivermark Caribbean and I have been this for and, um, and for doing that with me. But um, I hope this is memorable and exciting. Since you've been done for the quicker. So, um, when we were, uh, when I first started at Rivermark uh, four years ago, I actually came out of the software industry and I had um, come back uh, to the uh, credit union industry. I had been out about 10 years. And I was um, excited about the, all the different things we had going on. We had uh, things that we didn't have when I had left uh, before as far as really moving the, the loan apps online and being able to do things like chat online and, and whatnot. But um, the thing that was, I was very, very disappointed in, again, my, I hate that comment of, hey, you know, it's customizable. You just give us our, your logo and your font color and it'll, it'll be just like your stuff. Um, but obviously it wasn't. I mean, some of the apps that we had were so bad and so poorly done. Um, one of my favorite statements is I would fail the first year um, computer science student for, for some of these apps and, and how bad they looked uh, versus what we already had. So what we did was we went out and um, we actually found a strategic partner and we found a tool that they were using to do a bunch of rapid development and we actually um, took it and applied it and started applying to a bunch of our websites. One of the properties that we started with was our online chat. So um, Rivermark, we're really trying to, our mission statement is to be the recognized champion of this branch in advance. Well, we need to be able to communicate with our members everywhere that we can and, and provide services um, everywhere that we can. Well, our chat application was two things. It was hard to find, hard to use, and not available on mobile. So what we did was we um, used Top Layer to, to go ahead and improve that. So in, um, before Top Layer, what we had was up on the very top left hand corner here to try and find chat in our existing um, home banking application, you had to click on a hyperlink up in the top left hand corner that said support. When you clicked on that, hyperlink, you popped up another window here that still didn't even say chat to start getting you um, into that chat window. Now, once you actually click on that hyperlink, you finally got another window. Again, logo, right? It looks exactly like everything else, you know? <laughs> but we finally at least are down to where we um, have a, a hyperlink that actually says chat. And then once it popped up the actual chat window, it didn't look anything like what we had going on for our home banking website. But at least we were finally in there and able to do the, the chat session. So now when we, when we use the tool top layer, what we were able to do, we were able to actually read in our home banking website and immediately put the actual word chat right on the top navigation bar so it was easy to find and actually fit what we were trying to accomplish. And when you click that hyperlink, we actually popped up one window. We would could have gone straight to uh, the chat section, <coughs> but because we wanted our public website to have this experience, we went ahead and made sure that it matched here on our home banking website. But again, at that point, you hit the start chat and you're straight into that chat window. So again, for us, that was a really big thing. Um, again, you can't be the recognized champion that puts a branch in your hands with that first experience. Um, but the second one is, uh, again, fits our, our, um, our needs for our website a lot better. So you're saying there's something called Whatever it's called, Tasso? Uh, it's a product called Toplayer. Uh, it's a company out of Portland, Oregon um, called WeTap Media. And they've got some brochures in, in, in the back. Um, so again, with with the uh, Toplayer product, again, this is our um, regular website. 
And this is the home, uh, the loan application I was referring to before that I would fail to see a student for submitting. Again, it doesn't look anything like our existing website. But what we what Top Layer does is it actually reads in that application itself, so we don't touch the code at all. Um, the vendor didn't have to change anything for that. And it reads that in, and it takes um, a blank uh, page out of our CMS and marries it up so that we can then render that loan out. So where, again, the before and the after. And what it does is, the nice thing is, is for uh, the technical folks out there, um, if you want to go ahead, what it's layering in is a, a framework called Twitter Bootstrap. And so it then also allows it not only to be desktop, but if you're, if for any of the, the tech folks out there, or if you go back and check with your tech folks, um, it lets it re-render for both tablet and mobile as well. So now when we um, started down this path, we didn't think we could do a bunch of other things with our loan apps. We thought we were just kind of stuck with what our vendor was giving us. But once we figured out we could not only change the app itself as far as how it looked and how it responded, we were like, wow, okay, we could actually go so much farther with this. What if we could start actually reading data from our core and inserting it into our loan app so that instead of, like all of us have, um, when your loan app comes up in your online banking, you're asking them, oh, their name, their address, everything else you should already know about them. Um, so we actually um, have an opportunity there when we were changing the loan app to actually make a call to our core and go ahead and put the data in the app as well so we don't have to re-ask the member of that information. And then one last piece that we actually did. So we had so much success with this, we just kept rolling and kept playing. Um, we then went ahead and started going, okay, what if a member you know, in the middle of an application decided to stop using it? But they had given us enough information to identify who they were, whether they would be um, an existing member to where we knew who they were, or they were a non-member that was on our website but had put in like the phone number as part of the contact information. Well, we then came up with this um, wonderful product that we call Follow Through, or we type false Follow Through. I'm a little close, I've spent a little bit of time with these guys. Um, but what it does is, again, it's capturing all the data somebody is entering it in, and we have a configurable parameter to where we've got our set for 15 minutes. If somebody hasn't touched the page in 15 minutes, we declare it an abandoned application, and then we send it over to our outbound calling team to say, okay, hey, if there's enough contact information in here, reach out to the person and just find out. Were they just exploring? Were, did they hit a problem? I mean, our original website, uh, our, our original loan app, uh, did some things that weren't so good. When you were planning for a visa, it still had all the fields out there for um, giving your uh, cloud for a loan. Again, a very poor uh, loan application. So we were finding that folks were dropping out just because they were confused. But when we call them and go, hey, what was going on? And we were able, were able to close those loans. Um, we got a very, very big lift in our, uh, in our loans in the first month that we were using this application. So um, again, on the ROI, just for the very first month that we had all these uh, pieces in place, uh, we were able to, we got, again, the 370 loan applications that were completed at the time, uh, we were able to um, get a lift in a large number of those loans and generate an extra $135,000 in loans just in the first month. And again, those were just the loans that were falling off the table because they weren't getting completed. I know I'm very quick.